Hi, in this new video tutorial, I show you how to make this cool effect in Photoshop. Let's get started. Before starting to create this effect, I advise you to use two similar images. You can also use two images with different poses, but if they have the same pose, it will simplify your work. You will have already understood that the first thing to do is to cut out the head of your subject. To do this, I used object selection tool. There is no need for a precise selection, because after we will cut out the parts of the face again to create the composition. For this tutorial you can download the two images I used for free, link in description. Now, we can start separating the parts of the face. Select the part of the face that starts from the neck to the nose. Create a copy of the selected part, using Command or Ctrl plus J. Adjust the position of the face so that it appears to be pointing downward. Fix the neck part by cutting out the unnecessary parts. Only the chin and a small part of the neck need to remain. You can delete the part that is left out of the selection. Remember to invert your selection first, with Command or Control plus I. The last step we have to do, is to make this part of the face hollow. To do this you just need to create a ellipse with the shape tool, and adjust it to fit your face. It doesn't have to be a perfect ellipse, you will have to deform your shape until you get a good result. To make the selection quickly, go to the layer image and hold down command or control, a dash square will appear, click on the layer to activate the selection. Everything that is covered by the shape must be erased, even the nose. Also, delete the parts that are out of shape. The first piece of the face is ready. Now we need to create the piece that includes the nose, ears and eyes, the process is the same as before. After you've made your selection, duplicate the face part and turn off the whole head layer. Let's start creating the hole in the head, in this case you can reuse the shape we created for the mouth, but you will have to adapt it to the size of the forehead, but also you will have to make a much narrower ellipse. Also, this time we will have to select our shape and delete everything that is covered and all the parts that come out of the black shape. For the lower part, however, you will have to cut the part of the face letting the nose and earlobe stick out. We are halfway through the work, we still need to make two cuts. For the part of the forehead, I took advantage of a black shape, putting it on the part of the forehead from which I was interested in starting. In this way I would have already had a nice curve in the lower part of the forehead, be careful, in this case I have not erased the covered part. I selected the shape and by clicking on the shift key, using the lasso tool, I expanded my selection. Finally, I duplicated the part of the forehead that I copied. I again used the black shape to make the upper part of the forehead, narrowing the ellipse even more. As for the previous steps, delete the part that protrudes from the ellipse.
we are almost done with creating the first head. Finally, we are missing the last piece, for the hair you just need to use the last part left and take advantage of the black shape again. However, you will only have to work on the lower part of the head, in this case the shape does not have to be very tight. Put the black shape behind the hair layer, and edit the shape until you get a result similar to mine. After I finished my shape, I selected it and erased part of the hair layer. This is the result you should get with the first head. In order for this effect to work correctly, you need to rearrange the position of the layers. All layers of the head, eyes, mouth, forehead and hair should be placed first. While the part of the black shapes must be placed last in the order of the levels. In the middle of these two groups, we will create the effect with the second head. To finish this effect, cut out your second head and insert it into your project. Fit your second head to the first, and place the layer between the head layer 1 and the black shapes layers. In this case, the work to do is very simple, you just need to cut the parts of the face of head 2 and position them in such a way that it seems to repeat itself. For this tutorial, I was inspired by Moon Patrol, on his Instagram profile you will find a lot of inspiration if you like this type of art, I put the link of his profile in the description. To create the inner shadow of the head, I preferred to make a copy of the layers of the first head and merge them into one layer. I changed the color of this merged layer to black using the style layer. I blurred the layer using the blur filter. With the eraser tool, I eliminated the part of the shadow that came out of the outline of my graphic. This tutorial has come to an end. In the last part I just show you how I edited my final project. To give color to my head too I used a gradient map, and I added an eye to the head to make the second head even more scary. Remember to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss any other content of this type.
Thanks for following me to the end, I hope this video was helpful. Leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss other upcoming content.